this is the package that we're going to be using to make the batter. I'm going to use one cup of batter to and then a half a cup of the soju and a half a cup of water. If you want to make it lighter, you can use uh, seltzer. It should be cold. This has been in the fridge uh, all day, all night. It's, it's nice and cold. And uh, the pancake batter should be thin, should not be, you know, overly clumpy or lumpy or thick. And uh, I'm going to chop up these vegetables. We're going to start sauteing them. And we'll whisk up this batter and we'll get this thing rolling. Okay, so I have my veggies chopped up for round one. There is going to there are going to be two dipping sauces to go along with this. So while I sauté the vegetables, uh, I'm going to show you how to make the dipping sauce. I'm just waiting for the pan to heat up. Uh, and quite honestly, um, you can add whatever vegetables you like. You like bok choy? Throw in some bok choy. You like spinach? Add a little spinach. Um, you know, it, this is all about uh, just adding things that you like. You want to add some daikon radish? Add some daikon radish. Uh, the scallions I cut up, um, if you're used to scallion pancake from uh, the Chinese restaurant, this is not what this is going to be um, like. So basically, I, sli I slice them into about two inch pieces and then slice them down the middle. I did chop up a few um, a la the Chinese way so you could see that and uh, I'm going to start by throwing in the mushrooms because the mushrooms tend to give off a lot of water first um, and then I'm, go I'm going to also add the uh, zucchini as well because that's going to take probably the longest amount of time to cook so those two things are going to be in the pan and while that's starting to saute up I'm going to make the dipping sauces and then the batter Okay, so to make the sauce, we're going to use um, one tablespoon of soy sauce. Uh, in this case, I'm using uh, tamari, which is a gluten-free soy sauce. And this one happens to be low sodium. Um, some of us have to watch our sodium intake, and this is a good way to do it. I don't have a tablespoon count. So three teaspoons makes a tablespoon, just in case you didn't know that. So that's one, two... Three. To that, I'm going to add a tablespoon of water. Okay, so I'm adding one tablespoon of water. Just going to scoop it out here. One, two, three teaspoons. One tablespoon. A tablespoon of rice wine vinegar. One, two. Three. So we got the salty component, the umami component, component with the soy, the sour component with the rice wine vinegar. We're going to add the sweet component because we're going to be adding some sugar to this as well. And uh, we're going to add a little fat element um, with some soy uh, sesame oil. So I'll be right back with the rest of those ingredients and then I'm going to put together the batter. Okay, so to make the batter, I'm taking one cup of the batter mix, adding it to our mixing bowl, or in this case, mixing Tupperware, or in this case, mixing Rubbermaid, not Tupperware, although there's nothing wrong with Tupperware, it's perfectly fine. To that, I'm going to add A half a cup of soju to this. Pardon me, just smack the camera there. So we got about a little less than half a cup. We're going to just whisk that in. I'm going to add some water to this. I'm going to hold back a little bit of water just in case I don't need it. Ah, this is looking pretty good. Get the little clumps out. 
Okay, we're probably going to need to add a little more water to this. I didn't quite get in a half a cup of the soju, but as you can see, making a little bit of a mess here, but then it's par for the course with me, right? I'm not what you call the neatest chef around. I wish I were. I'm sure my wife wishes I were. But I'm not. So that's all set. Now I'm going to show you how to make the basically how to make the pancake, which is like making a pancake. Okay, so you can see that I have the vegetables nice and distributed. Now I'm just going to pour in the pancake batter. And turn up the heat a little bit. It's a little bit on the low side. And basically, we wait until it's done. That just like a regular pancake. So I'm gonna let this cook for a little bit. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so to finish the sauce, we're gonna add a tablespoon of sesame oil. A teaspoon of sugar. I'm going to add some sesame seeds. I got some black sesame seeds here. And I'm adding a pinch of red pepper. Korean red pepper. Nice healthy pinch there. Whisk this up. That's dipping sauce numero uno. I've managed, oh, there's my whisk. I'm just going to give it a quick little whisk. Give it a little quick taste. Needs a little more tamari. Um, most definitely more uh, um, vinegar as well. So the rice wine vinegar. So I'm going to add a bit more to that. The uh, pancake is done cooking and I will show you what the finished product looks like momentarily. Okay, so there you have pancake number one. Um, the <laughs> vegetable pancake, I'm gonna make a kimchi pancake uh, very shortly using the same um, ingredients other than instead of vegetables, I'm gonna be adding kimchi plus a little kimchi juice to the batter. I will show you how to do that momentarily. I'm also gonna make a spicy dipping sauce basically mixing gua sha, gua sha shang with some vegan mayo let me get the pan cleaned up and i'll be back okay so our kimchi version of the kimchi pancake um, i'm going to change up how the cooking method for this uh, by adding the ingredients to the batter as opposed to keeping them in the pan uh, which is what I did for the vegetable one. So we're just basically going to chop this up um, into bits. I want to get about three quarters of a cup uh, of kimchi in this. I'm going to add a quarter cup of scallions um, to it as well. Just get this nice, nicely chopped. And then I'm going to take some of the juice from the kimchi and add that to the batter as well to get a double dose of kimchi in there. All right. You don't want too big a chunk of kimchi. <laughs> I'm using the hot and spicy version of this particular brand. Um, you can find vegan kimchi um, in the Korean markets. It's a lot cheaper than, say, a Whole Foods, um, which doesn't offer a lot of ver um, variety. But uh, let's see how much we got in here. Hopefully it's close to three quarters. I have a cut on my finger. 
So, it is burning! Alright, let me check the measure here. Uh, oh yeah, look at that. Good eye, Stu. Good eye. Probably why I was so good in baseball. Had a good eye. Anyway, so I got the got that um, set up. Now I'm going to uh, get prep the batter. So I'm going to do it actually a little different. I'm going to leave out the soju. I'm going to add some of the... Uh, oh. Okay, I'm going to um, make the batter a little bit different. I'm just going to use water. I'm not going to use the soju in it. And I'm just going to slice up these scallions nice and thin as well to add a little bit of a onion punch to the batter. Because uh, we're going to try and get these a little bit thinner than the last version uh, of the pancake, which you saw. Um, it was good. Uh, for the dipping sauce, uh, just as a self-edit, it'll be in the instructions. I added a teaspoon of ginger paste to that. Uh, it was just lacking a little punch, so to speak. I am going to make a spicy. Um, I am going to make a spicy dipping sauce with the gua sha shang and uh, some mayonnaise. So I'm going to get this right into my jar with the kimchi. And I'm going to now prep the batter. Okay, so I've added a little of the kimchi juice to the batter. Now I'm going to start adding the water in. Um, just as another quick note, uh, I added way too much sesame oil to the dipping sauce. I clearly cannot read my own handwriting. Um, that should have been one teaspoon, not one tablespoon. Uh, so the sesame oil kind of overwhelmed the flavor which is why I had to kind of punch it up with some other stuff there uh, this you're gonna want to be a little bit thinner batter than even the other one because I'm adding the ingredients to the batter so slowly I always pick the wrong bowl implement to mix this up with flour gets caught in the corners which is probably why mixing bowls are round no corners for flour to get stuck in I wonder what genius thought of that it wasn't me obviously all right got a little bit more water to add here you can see this is a lot thinner than the last batter that I made you can see, you just want to see how runny that is. So it's really thin. Now we're just going to add our scallion and kimchi to this. Because this one you want to be kind of thin. So this should make a couple different ones. I'm going to heat up the pan. And I'm going to show you how to make the spice of dipping sauce. Uh, something that my wife will really enjoy. She's feeling good enough to start eating more spicy food, which is good news for me. Makes me happy. She's feeling a little bit better. And uh, that's great. So I'm going to start heating up the pan. And I will be back in a moment to show you, A, how to make the pancake. B, how to make the dipping sauce. Okay, to make the spicy dipping sauce, we're going to use some mother-in-law's gua sha shang. Um, we're going to add three tablespoons to our uh, bowl here. So we've got that means nine teaspoons for those who are counting. One, two, three. And if you're not familiar with the this type of product. Um, you got to be careful if you're gluten free um, because a lot of them have wheat in it. That's a, that's a thing that you got to be careful for. And since we're gluten free, this is one of the um, 
brands that is gluten free. I think that was five. I'm not really counting. Six. Man, is smoking next to me here. Um, and since I'm doing slightly bigger than that, so we got that in there. Now I'm going to add some mayonnaise, which is vegan mayo. Um, don't at me saying it's not mayo because it doesn't have eggs. We're using the Hellman's vegan mayo. Um, I'm just going to scoop it right out. One. Next person who gets this is not going to be happy because there's going to be some hot pepper paste in there. Three. I think I'm going to err on the side of the spicy. I'll leave it at that. And just mix it up and taste it. If it's too spicy for you, add more mayo. If it's not spicy enough, add more pepper sauce. I mean, it's not rocket science here, folks. At least I don't think it is. If you want to dress this up, add some black sesame seeds, some white sesame seeds uh, that looks good gonna take a little taste mm. tasty not too spicy but spicy enough okay so now we're on to making the pancake I'll be back in a moment okay so to my pan I'm gonna add a little avocado oil you can add coconut oil if you want you just want to make sure that the pancake doesn't stick. I'm going to actually drain some of this because there's a little bit too much in there um, for my taste. You can see that the pan is pretty hot. So let me just pour some of that out into a handy candy container I have. All right. And now it's time to add our kimchi batter sometimes you forget that the handle is hot even when you're using an induction cooktop We're just going to let that baby cook. I'm going to flip it over. And we're going to plate that one up too. Actually, I'm going to make both of them so that way I get something to eat. Uh, my wife enjoyed the first pancake. Um, and I'm going to enjoy something. <laughs> uh, but it's good she's got her appetite back. That's also a good sign. So I'll be back in a moment. Well, I successfully executed the flip on this one. <laughs> I had a little bit of trouble with the vegetable one, um, sadly. And, and for those of you who are wondering why I haven't been on camera, um, in part that has to do with the fact that uh, I haven't been able to get a hair, haircut. Uh, the shampoo that we have uh, is doing something to my hair. Uh, and when I look in the mirror, all I can see is Bruce Valanche. That's not a pleasant sight. Uh, sorry, Bruce. Um, you know, I don't mean to insult you in, uh, uh, in post-mortem, but uh, that's the way it goes. Uh, I, I don't like the way uh, I'm appearing on camera. I, I think I'd scare more people than uh, I would attract. So uh, we're back to doing this. When I, when I can get a haircut, I'll be back on camera and uh, dressed... Uh, a little bit better than I am right now. This is smelling great. It's looking good. It's almost done. And uh, we'll be ready to plate this up shortly. Yeah, need a little more time on this side here. I think I'm going to turn up the heat just a little bit. And we'll be back. Okay, so... I successfully turned this pancake 
This one came out much better. Um, first ones are always the, the hard ones. Uh, it's cooking up nicely. I'm getting ready to uh, take it off the pan. I'm going to cut it up into some nice wedges so my wife and I can enjoy this. And uh, we'll be back. Okay, so there you have it. We got the kimchi pancake with the spicy dipping sauce ready to go. I'm going to do a little dip myself. Oh. Delicious. Oh my God. Really good. So if you like these videos, if you like these videos, click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave a comment and give us a thumbs up. We hope to see you again and enjoy.